Hey guys, tune in with Control Tactical Apparel here. I'm just going to do a quick review today on Ghost International's The One Evo Holster. Now this is my original The One Holster. I used it for a couple seasons. I did like it a lot. I also used the Ultimate Holster and the Thunder Holster on limited and standard guns. But when it came to the race holster, I generally gravitate back to holsters with the leg and the barrel spur. I find they're just more secure and you can put more torque on the pistol. Now, I did have a problem with this particular holster. I had never cleaned out the retention device. Mechanical devices fail and I had a pistol fall out. Now, what had happened is some debris had built up in there. So now maybe once, twice a year, I take that retention device apart. I make sure there's no debris in there and I haven't had a problem since. Some other issues that people have had with the one holsters is fit from pistol to pistol and frame to frame. Now, you may have to adjust that retention device to accommodate your steel frames to your polymer frames. It's just a set screw in the back. If you undo that set screw or loosen it off, you can rotate your retention device and make sure that it fits. If you are lucky, you can find a happy medium from frame to frame, but you may have to make that worst case scenario adjustment. Um, I was happy and lucky enough to get my hands on the new Evo from Double Tap Sports. I've got it mounted on my competition belt. I got a chance to dry fire with it a bit just so I could do a healthy review. Now, if you notice, the housing is not much different. It's got some different cuts on it and a different logo. The leg and the barrel spurs are the same. Some of the changes that they have made is they added a second reference screw. Uh, and what the reference screw does is it takes up the slack from the pistol the holster fit. So it keeps your pistol from flopping around inside your holster. And I'll show you an example. Let me just grab a pistol here. So this is the original, the one. And I'll put it in here. Now you can hear it, you can see it flopping around in there. There's no reference screw on the front of the holster. And I'll show you on the new Evo. The reference screw is there and there's a lot less play. I've had it adjusted, I don't make it too tight. I wanna be able to draw quickly, I don't wanna have any resistance. But I've greatly reduced the amount of play from pistol to the holster. Now another big thing about it is metal backing plates. The original one had polymer backing plates and they tend to bend after a period of time being clamped down, as you can see there. Now just from a few weeks of dry fire with the metal backing plates, it's apparent that the holster is much tighter on the belt. As you can see, it's fully adjustable. You can cant it in any which way you want, forwards, backwards, inside, outside. You can drop it down, move it up, and you can adjust the leg, and it has a different leg for different barrel lengths to accommodate what pistol you're putting on there. Very adjustable holster, very user friendly. All right, so you can see I got my Double Tap Sports Competition belt on. It has a soft inner Velcro belt that goes through your belt loops and a very stiff outer, which all your equipment attaches to. I got the Ghost International Evo, the one race holster, and I've got my 360 mag pouches on here. And I just want to show you how one of these draws. Unlike a conventional Kydex holster, you really only have to come up a centimeter or two before it clears the retention device and you can start to present. With a classic Kydex holster, you have to clear your front sight and your barrel and get it all the way out and often lift your shoulders up and tilt your body over to get that cleared and get it out of the holster. Whereas here, you have one or two centimeters and you can start to present the pistol forward. Now what that does is it allows for very fast draws and minimize some of the upper body movement. Okay. Now, as far as retention, all the way down in an active position, the firearm's retained until you disengage with your middle finger on the draw, puts it into a neutral position, and then you can draw the pistol. So in this case, we come up, we disengage, and we draw. Standard retention. You can also put it in a very vertical position where you can't access the switch. It's great for walking around, doing your stage walks, and not losing your pistol throughout the day. Put it back into a neutral position, and now we can draw. Very quick holster. Combine it with the mag or the 360 mag pouches, and you have some very fast equipment. All right, guys, if you're looking for any of these products in Canada, head over to www.doubletapsports.com. You can hit us up on Instagram and Facebook at Control Tactical Apparel. You can find me on YouTube, Control Tactical Media. Like, share, hit me up. Later, guys.